Hi everyone and welcome back to Taste the Code. In today's episode I've got this uh, work radio that I got off the flea market. It doesn't work so the idea is that we're gonna dismantle it and see if we can fix it. I've already checked it with the power supply here on the side and it does turn on but there is no sound that's coming off the speaker. So this one will be a bit different because this thing is a bit big for my bench here so I'll take it apart and I'll guide you to basically my finds and we'll see what, what's in there. This video is sponsored by Altium Designer. Altium Designer allows makers and hobbyists like me to create stunning PCBs for our projects by providing all the necessary tools for PCB design. Not only that, but you can also collaborate on projects with other makers by using the sharing capabilities of Altium. From schematic capture, rich PCB design capabilities, high speed, HDI and rigid flex, Altium can handle anything that you throw at it. And with the addition of Altium 365, you can also share your projects online to unite PCB design, mechanical design, data management and manufacturing all in one place. Visit the link in the video description to get your free trial of Altium Designer and start working on your ideas today. Okay, so I'm gonna start this repair by first removing these rubber grommets from the side. Uh, as you can see, this is a bit tricky to be filmed because of its size. And, but hopefully we should be able to figure it out easily. Okay, the first grommet is out and we can see that it splits here and I believe that there are some screws that are hidden between these grommets. Yes, exactly. So let's remove those as well. They are a bit tricky. Let's remove the first, the other one as well. Okay, so all of the screws are now detached. Let's see if we can lift this board. Uh, yes, we can. And now let's see what's the situation inside. So this one here is the charger board. Let's remove that as well. Okay should be removed now and now we can have a closer look at what's inside this and now that we have this board open I'm looking for any obvious faults that I can see but so far I'm not seeing any uh, it appears to me that this have already been opened before this seal here was not sitting properly so it was sandwiched in between the screw here and here on the right it got uh, damaged as well and there's also a missing screw here on the board so probably someone tried to repair this already i'm seeing a bit of like um, smudges that might indicate that this had seen some water damage but i don't see any water damage within the case so it might be some condensation that happened uh, it doesn't i don't really know so next step is to open this uh, remove this board and see if we can spot anything obvious inside uh, i was kind of hoping that maybe some of these wires on the speaker or anything got loose but obviously this board has some uh, larger issue than that so we'll dig deeper and see how far we can go okay so here is the board this is the inside uh, this is the probably the main controller unit there is an ic here and ic down below here and this one is the usb and bluetooth module so and it goes here in the board and these are the control buttons that are on a separate board as I said, I'm not seeing any obvious flaws except for the smudging that appears on some of this board. 
And I think that uh, at least one of the pins here is not really soldered correctly. Let me check if you can see that better. So you can see here, this one looks like it's missing some solder. There are some zero ohm resistors that I will need to check, but on first glance, there's uh, nothing really obvious that going on with the board. One thing that I think I uh, might have happened is that it says six volts, but the DC jack is not really different. So it's the regular two and a half millimeter DC jack. And I th what I think might have happened is that someone tried to plug in 12 volt adapter and somehow that might have uh, destroyed some of the components. So I'll need to track to see how that power is distributed on the board and see if we can find anything that might have uh, blown up. Uh, this here might be some voltage regulator, um, but we'll see. And here on the end, we have the power switch that goes, that turns on the power and then regulates the volume uh, with this potentiometer. But we'll see. Uh, first thing that we need to do is uh, clean this board with some alcohol and see if that does any change. And afterwards, we will play a bit with the components and try to uh, identify any flaw in, in the board. Okay, so I did some testing on the board. Now that it's clean, I did some probing around and unfortunately, I'm not really able to find anything that uh, kind of sounds wrong. I thought that this capacitor here that's on the input side, uh, the really big one here on the board, I thought that it might be uh, short circuit, but that was caused by the power supply that I had disconnected. Um, what I'm currently going to do is I see some joints that are not really soldered correctly, like this one, for example, that might have a cold solder joint, but other than that, I'm not seeing anything. I tested the diode, I tested the capacitors, they all seem to work fine. Uh, I did pull out this wire, so I'm going to solder that as well. And we'll see if that makes any difference in how this thing operates. It still behaves the same. So when power is applied, it comes here, it regulates it down to 3.3 volt and powers the IC. So we have power on the board and the red LED that's on the board, uh, this one here, um, powers on red, but we don't have any sound on the speaker. And I did test the speaker as well. We measured four ohms across it. So that appears to be good, uh, as well. So we'll see now I'm, uh, going to reflow the board, reflow some of the joints that I suspect might be, uh, cold joints and we'll see if that makes any change. Okay. So it's been a while while I was probing this board and basically uh, what I managed to discover is that I'm not receiving voltage to the chip that controls the whole unit. So basically the switch here, this is the volume switch, turns on the AC, um, turns on the voltage and it comes all the way to this transistor. It's a B772 PMP transistor. And from there, from its base, 
the IC is being powered up. So we, we have voltage here. Um, let me show you that. So this one here is ground. The one that goes to the heatsink of the IC. If I measure here, I don't get any voltage, but the full voltage is present here and we don't have anything on the base here. So just to confirm that this is the case and that nothing else is wrong, I'll short these two with a screwdriver. And you can see that we get music. I don't want to get demonetized because of the song that's going on on the radio, but you can hear that it's now working. So let's try and now find a replacement for that transistor. Hopefully that should fix the radio and we'll be good to go. And now that we know that the board works, let, let's try and put this thing back together. So hopefully we can give it some use in the workshop. I'll start putting up the boards in their position. And once I'm done, we'll do a final testing and we'll see if everything is uh, functioning as it should. And here is the finished piece. Unfortunately, the antenna here is missing. So I had to improvise and do like a makeshift antenna with an M3 screw that holds this wire up. It has a decent uh, reception through the signal, through the FM radio, but I'm currently have it connected through Bluetooth with my phone so I can show you how it sounds. So I'll play a song now through Spotify. The sound coming off the speaker is really clear and I'm really surprised. It's not too loud, but it's definitely enough for what I'm gonna use this. Uh, I plan to have this sit in my workshop or take it outside in my backyard when we have some parties and we can use this um, basically to be rugged as it was designed to be. I'm really happy with how this turned out. A small transistor made all the difference between having something de destined for the junk or having a speaker that we can now still use. So if you like this repair, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.